Hey everybody, Rich here, coming at you from uh, the hotel room. I got called up uh, yesterday after work and got told I had to work over the weekend. Uh, and uh, to my surprise, I got put up in a dirtbag hotel room. I'm pretty disappointed. Most of the time my company puts me up, they put me in a pretty nice place. The only consolation is I was kind of near a card shop, so I uh, I had a Babe Ruth day at the uh, LCS, kind of local. It's at least local to my hotel. It's not really local to where I live. But let's let's look at it. I got uh, these three Allen and Ginter um, Babe Ruth cards from uh, consecutive years: 2012, 13, and 14. Um, as you guys probably know, if you watch my channel, Babe Ruth is kind of my main PC. I still don't have a card from him in his playing days, but I am working on that. Uh, I found something I could get for possibly under 200 bucks, which is a lot of money for me to spend on a single card. But since I consider myself a Babe Ruth collector, I figure I should get something from his playing days just to uh, have something and uh, I mean they're not making any more of them so it should retain value. Check out this uh, cool looking, uh, it's like a 3D refractor type deal, um, 40 home run in a single season card, this Legends career legends I like this one because it's got all his uh, career long stats there uh, I'm gonna give up on the focus man I'll show you around this hotel room in a second let's go through some of these cards I mean this place is crap dude there's it's dirty it's stinky the furniture is crap the lighting is crap they don't even have lamps they got fixtures on the wall because I think they're afraid you're gonna steal them <laughs> anyway um, Surprisingly, the TV's not nailed down like they are in some of these places. I've stayed in nicer hotels that have their TVs secured to the to the furniture. Check this thing out, man, with this Twin Towers in the background, that Andy Pettit. I got a few other things besides some Babe Ruth, but I'm digging that. That's got like a Chinese sheen to it, as well as this Paul O'Neill. It's got some New York... Uh, city background there um, these are both pretty nice looking cards um, who put that out I can't even see like I said the lighting's bad in here I can't I can't even see who manufactured that car it's a metal the metal series universal metal I'm not sure what the deal is with that and then here's a couple I got a couple original um, cards you know from their playing days, this Thurman Munson from the 70s, um, I believe that's 1970. This Oscar Gamble's a reprint, you can't see his afro there. The story was that the uh, when he signed with the Yankees, they made him cut his afro in half. He still had a pretty good head of hair, but uh, he had to tone it down from that giant Jackson 5 fro he had going. and. Uh, it was relatively conservative uh, for his day with the Yankees. Uh, Yogi Berra, I got this uh, 1955 Most Valuable Players, Yogi and Roy Campanella. This is a pretty cool 60 home run club card. You got the Babe, Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire, and Roger Maris. So there's two Yankees on there. A couple more Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth's uh, 100th birthday card. That's a Topps, uh, that's a reprint, I think, of an older card or something. I'm not sure what the story is with that. This uh, Ruth Laps the League, I believe that's referring to him hitting more home runs than himself hitting more home runs than any other team in the league during his day, than whole teams. You know what I'm saying? He'd hit 40 home runs. And the other the players on and no other no other team hit 40 home runs and Babe Ruth would hit 40 home runs. Check out okay this is something I've been after for a while and the the, the LCS actually gave this to me because it was only it was only going for a quarter anyway but I've been looking for Gaylord Perry as a Yankee 
Apparently, he only played with them one season, but I remember him well with the Yankees. I believe it was 1980. He was with the Yankees, and I thought he had a few seasons with them, but I uh, can't see this, but, uh, you know, he was with the Padres, the Indians, the Giants for a long time, but I believe he only had one season with the Yankees, but I, he's a Yankee I've been trying to get for some time. This was probably the most expensive card I got all night. I think it was four bucks for these uh, a four-player card. It's kind of a blank back uh, insert. I can't see the year it was uh, manufactured, but you got Mattingly, Jeter, Jackson, and the Babe all on one card. So that that's killer. I'm digging that. This Ron Guidry. That's an original card from uh, what year is this set? I know this, I believe that's uh, 77, Ron Guidry, it's not in bad shape. This Reggie, World Series, the hat trick, I believe that's when he hit three home runs on three pitches during the uh, 1977 World Series. This Lou Gehrig, um, this is a more recent insert. Um, Tops. Uh, that might even be from 2018, but I think it's a couple of years old. And then here was the real a couple of the gems. Oh, let me show you this one first. I'll set this on the tripod. Okay, I got these two. They're kind of almost the same set, but published two different years. I only got seven cards out of this one, but I got the complete set of the. Um, it's 1927. Um, Yankees set and it this one was published in 1987. This one's a little older. It's from the 70s, I think But you got uh, Miller Huggins the uh, manager from back in the 20s um, He and Babe Ruth had an interesting relationship Babe would tease him a lot because he was a he was of small stature He was only like five foot four or something and kind of a slight guy and Babe, Babe liked to pick on little guys but I mean by the after some years together, Babe Ruth actually had a pretty profound respect for Miller Huggins. Uh, even if he he'd razz him a little bit, he did gain Babe Ruth's respect. Herb Pennock, I can't say I know a lot about him. Tony Lazari or Lazari, I've heard people say it. Second baseman from the Murderers Row. Wyatt Hoyt, the pitcher from back in those days. We'll see Moore, a guy I'm not, I don't know a lot about, Earl Coombs, and Bob Musell, who was, uh, you know, these are all contemporaries of Babe Ruth, all 1927 Yankees. And then here's, uh, so that's the back of those ones. As you can see that probably that was published in 87, those were manufactured, and then these ones is a similar set, and I got the complete set here. This is 1979. There's 32 cards in the set, so I think that was the whole roster back in the day. And I'll go in order. I don't think they had a whole 40-man roster. I think they had 30-something. So there's the babe, and these are in order. Lou Gehrig, number two in the set. There's that Tony Lazari. Mark Koenig. Julie Wera, third base. I don't know much about him. Ray Moorhart. Art Fletcher. Joe Dugan, okay. Third baseman. He's somewhat well known. Charlie O'Leary as a coach. There's Bob Musell. Left field. Earl Coombs in center field. Cedric Durst, another outfielder. John Grabowski, catcher. I may be somewhat familiar with him. I think I've heard him mentioned in some books I've read. Mike Gazella, he's an infielder. Pat Collins, catcher. There's our pitcher again, uh, Wyatt Hoyt. Miles Thomas, another Yankees pitcher from the 27 lineup. Benny Bengo, catcher. Herb Pennock, 
another pitcher. We'll see Moore. Urban Shocker. That's a hell of a name, huh? Urban Shocker. That's just, you know, that's a rock star name right there. He looks like a cool cat, too. Dutch Ruther. George Pipgrass is a pitcher. Jacob Rupert is the owner. Okay, I've read about him. Wasn't he, uh... I'm too tired to try to say what I think I know. Let's just go through the cards. Eddie Bennett, the Bat Boy. I know something about him, too. I've heard some podcasts about him. Ed Barrow, general manager. Very uh, Gilded Age looking with that hat. Ben Pascal is an outfielder. There's the Miller Hogan's card again, or another one. This is for a slightly different set. Isn't it a different photo? Whoops, we'll just leave those there. Joe Girard. Bob Shockey is a pitcher. Walter Bial is another pitcher. And Don Miller, another pitcher. So I think that was the complete 27 team. And these are pretty cool cards, I got to say. These are going to go in the binder that Jeez Mikey gave me so I can see the front and back of them add to that binder. So that's it. Let's uh, move from the cards to the tour of this dirtbag hotel room. I mean, at first glance, it doesn't look that bad. The bed's all right looking and stuff. But, the man, the furniture is worn. It's got, like, holes in it. The furniture's all beat up and scratched. The door is filthy. I mean, look at this thing. There's like dirt on it and there's like some piece of crap, like Kleenex stuffed in the peephole. I mean, have you ever seen any crap like this? The TV's all right. Like I said, it's not even bolted down. Oh, here's the funniest thing. Here's the prices of what they, get, of, of, of what they charge you if you steal stuff. They want 131 bucks for the blanket. Are you kidding? It's like a freaking four dollar blanket on the bed, and like the sheets and the, the pillow is 10 bucks. Give me a break, dude. Brand new pillow is like five bucks for one of those things. They probably make more money off people stealing stuff than they do off the price of the hotel room. Crappy. It's hard to tell, but I mean, look at those fixtures. Holy crap! I mean, that's like gas station fixtures. The mirror is all jacked up. The bathroom is not, I mean, it's not, the, I believe me, I've stayed in worse places, but when my company wants me to work on the weekend and it's putting me up, they could do a little better. Anyway, that's it. This video is getting kind of long, so uh, thanks for bearing with me. And uh, I really like this card a lot. I don't think, it, it's in the style of a 1976 uh, Yankees card, but I, I don't believe it's quite that old. If my eyes would fo if it is, it's in really good shape. Could be a 76. Uh, I'll know later when I have some better light. But I've been working on that whole 76 set. I've got most of the actual team player cards from that set so I don't know if that's you know like an insert throwback type insert or what but anyway I'm gonna say good night and thank you for looking at my Yankee cards I'm super stoked on some of these pickups I got a big day of work tomorrow and if I got time I'm gonna stop by that card shop again so uh, maybe I'll have some more stuff to show you tomorrow that's it Peace out, everybody. God bless, and y'all have a great weekend. Goodbye.